Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, Taurus. It's Dana. How's it going? How's it rolling, Taurus? Are y'all safe and happy and secure? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. We're going to do some cards for Taurus today, all right? Let's do some cards for Taurus. I'm a Taurus. I'm a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. Right on. Let's do some Taurus cards. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Snuggle up to this table if you're coming back to the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All y'all, there is a super thanks button that you can hit anytime you so feel compelled. And if you'll stand by, I'm going to tell you all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening at the end of the video. All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's throw some cards. Let's see what these cards have to say for Taurus. I've been thinking about this for a good minute now. I've been I've been feeling about it, Taurus, feeling about it for a good minute now. So let's just see how it rolls, all right? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you for just a minute, and I'm going to sew together a story, okay? All right, let's do it, you guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me, Spirit. And we really want to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about this particular Taurus? What do they need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, their futures? Spirit, what is coming towards this particular Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Thank you. All right, let's see what's going on here, you guys. Woo-wee, the hermit on the bottom of the deck. Nice. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The Princess of Cups. The Devil in reverse. We'll take that Three of Swords in reverse, too. Eh, well, we got to take the Tower, right? The Eight of Pentacles. We'll take that Moon in reverse. That's where we'll stop. We're going to take that Ace of Swords. Oh, my gosh. And the Wheel and Temperance. All right, that's going to make hella sense to everyone in just a second. Makes a lot of sense to me right now. That's why I do it like that. Because it gives me like a, a, a foreshadowing here. All right. So, boom. We got the Four of Cups. Contemplation, reevaluation, the Alchemist in reverse, and the inability. An inability to manifest something. Um, sometimes it's about manipulation. The Five of Swords, some kind of win-at-all-cost mentality. And the Three of Cups in reverse. Some kind of third-party intervention. Third energy intervention. We'll see. And then we got the Five of Wands right there. All right. All right. King of Cups. Strength in reverse, weakness, overcoming, look, the Ace of Cups in the middle of your spread, the Four of Swords in reverse, contemplation, reevaluation, um, mental restlessness, to come in, yeah, the Hierophant in reverse, reevaluation or cutting loose, the Ten of Pentacles, money, foundation, the Two of Pentacles, the Star, sorry, the Star, not purposeful. The Two of Pentacles, balance this out. The Eight of Swords, get out of your head. Prince of Pentacles, stuck in your head. Justice in reverse. The Sun in reverse. The Six of Cups. The High Priestess. The Five of Cups. The Three of Wands. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The Seven of Swords. The King of Pentacles. Okay, look at that. The Nine of Pentacles. That's where we will... Nope, we're going to take those as well. All right. Taurus. That's where we'll stop. I have a little sticker on my camera right here that reminds me to look at that spot because I did some trial videos and it might not be spot on, but that tells me that's where 
your eyes are, right? But I have a tendency, everybody does, right? To look at myself over here. So I'm gonna try to focus on that dot right there so we can make eye contact, Taurus, all right? All right, let's do it, let's do it. I need to get a drink real quick. Hold on just a second. It's not alcohol. <sighs> I promise. It's actually why I don't take appointments after six because a lot of people are three sheets to the wind by six o'clock. <laughs> and I don't like reading for drunk people. So anywho, it's not alcohol. It's nice sparkling lemon water. All right, let's do this. So the four of cups, contemplation, reevaluation, taking a step back and reconsidering something because you think you got it, but you don't. So what's in the fourth cup, spirit? What is in the fourth cup right here that Taurus needs to take into consideration? What is in the fourth cup? The moon in reverse, okay? Uh, maybe you need to see something a little bit more clearly, perhaps. And remember, I'm going to read this whole thing to you, okay? I'm just clarifying right now. For myself, mostly, y'all just stand by. Okay, the moon in reverse. Not seeing something clearly or not coming to terms with something. Tell me, it's followed by the alchemist in reverse, right? And then the devil in reverse. Detach, release, limiting beliefs. So why is the alchemist in reverse? Obviously, it's a, a lack of manifestation. But why exactly is it in reverse? Is it the five of swords? All right, Taurus, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's happening here. This is what's happening. So, Four of Cups. This is Taurus um, contemplating life, contemplating their emotions, trying to sort out and compartmentalize their emotions about a particular situation, okay? The Fourth Cup is being offered by the hand of, of God, okay? And the Fourth Cup is saying you're missing something, you're missing something. You're not seeing something clearly. Take the information that we are about to give you and add it to the mix so you can bring some kind of stability to some kind of emotional process. Okay? What is that? Well, the alchemist in reverse because you're missing something. Okay? You're missing something big. The alchemist in reverse is untapped talents. Okay? It's an inability to manifest. So this particular Taurus is trucking along and they're trying to manifest something in their life and they're wondering in the four of cups what am i missing what am i missing why isn't this working what am i missing what am i missing okay okay all right the moon in reverse comes on top of that four of cups and talks about coming to terms with something that you don't necessarily want to come to terms with, okay? And that's the missing piece of everything. That's the blockage in the manifestation is that this Taurus has to come to terms with something that is standing in the way of prosperity and success in their life, all right? What is in the moon card? The moon is the Achilles heel of every human being. If only we could all just conquer the moon card, life would be so much easier. The moon is the struggle between that which you know to be true in your deep subconscious, in your guts, in your intuition. You know it to be true, but you just simply really don't want to accept it as the truth. So we dodge it. We dodge it. We dodge it. And we, we just go around it and around it and around it because we don't want to accept it as the truth. And that's what's missing in that four of cups right there, right? Whatever this is for this Taurus, which is going to come through in a second, you're not accepting it for the truth. Okay. Devil in reverse comes on top of this and says, we have to, you have to release your limiting beliefs because the devil in the upright is a card about attachments that restrict your growth. In the reverse, it's about digging those up and detaching yourself for them by releasing limiting beliefs. What are the limiting beliefs? It's whatever you're not believing in the moon card as the truth of a situation. The five of swords. Five of swords talks about holding on to some kind of mentality with a white knuckle grip. I'm not giving up on this. And it's clarified by the Hierophant, which tells me that this situation that Taurus needs to reevaluate because ultimately in the end, it is an attachment that is restricting your growth. Taurus doesn't want to let go of this because it has some kind of ties that bind with the Hierophant. 
some kind of ties that bind you to this situation, some kind of ties that are rooted in loyalty, commitment, and obligation. The Queen of Wands comes on top of the Hierophant and talks about you um, with your rod of fire inside of you, focusing on success. Because remember, the magician is in reverse, right? They need you to have eyes on the prize here, Taurus. To the Ace of Cups, they need some emotional growth from you. Where does that come from? It comes from coming to terms with the moon card and getting that fourth cup. That's the piece of the emotional growth that's missing here, okay? To the King of Pentacles, so you can step into a great, 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 great deal of success. A great deal of success in your life. To the Magician, it's trying to manifest. It, you are in that Four of Cups manifesting, right? You're like, what am I missing? What's not working here? Why isn't this going the way that I need it to go? Well, it's because you're not accepting the truth of a situation. And the truth of the situation is that you are bound by responsibility of some sort to a situation that you're refusing to let go of, okay? All right, the Three of Cups and Universal Orders trying to take place. It's all working right now, but it can't come through because this particular Taurus is stuck in the Three of Cups in reverse. The Three of Cups in reverse, can you see that? Yeah, the Three of Cups in reverse is all about third-party interference, and then the Five of Wands comes after it. This is about conflict and competition. So perhaps this particular Taurus doesn't want to leave a business situation because it's a family business and they can't go stretch out on their own because it would be direct competition with this business or people would internalize it to be you trying to compete with the family business maybe. This could be classic third party situation, always been cheated on, everybody's cheaters, everybody cheats and it's terrible and I don't like it. This Three of Cups in reverse could be a family situation that you are tied to, a marriage that you are tied to. It could be a child that you are tied to or a brother or a sister that is just like weights around your ankles and you can't seem to swim to the surface. Three of Cups in Reverse is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Nine of Pentacles in Reverse is about financial setbacks. Perhaps this person is causing you a financial setback of some sort. The Nine of Pentacles is um, a lack of success, right? And that's where that magician comes in into play in Reverse back here right? The Nine of Pentacles ultimately is a card about the investment that you are putting into something is never going to make a return for you, N not to match the investment that you've put into it. And for some people, this investment that you're investing in that's never going to make a return to you is the internal conflict in the mindset of cheaters, not being able to trust anyone, not, not, not being open to engage in a relationship because you don't trust someone. Because on the flip side of this, there's another part of this story that says if, if, if you will conquer this emotional blockage, what's coming for you, what's trying to manifest in the magician right here, in the King of Pentacles, in the Ace of Cups, in the Queen of Wands, is some kind of relationship of a lifetime. Yes, some kind of relationship of a lifetime, but it can't come through because this particular Taurus, Taurus is stuck on repeat about something that didn't get worked out. Um, perhaps they got, someone didn't choose them for something. They got looked over somehow. Whatever this is for you, we could figure this out if we did a personal reading for you. But whatever this is for you is what you have to come to terms with deep in the emotions because you are connected by ties that bind here. Okay. Okay. The King of Cups. King of Cups to Strength in Reverse. This King of Cups goes back to the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Hierophant, okay? Um, this King of Cups here is your advice 
because it's followed by major arcana is strength in reverse, which is the weakness. What's the weakness? What do you need to overcome? What do you need to conquer in your life? Well, the King of Cups being ancient, ancient soul wisdom is saying, tap into your soul's understanding. It goes back to the moon card that's right above it, right? Tap into your soul's understanding and follow what your intuition, what your guts, what your internal knowing is telling you about this situation for you. Tap into it because your, your higher self is never going to steer you wrong. To temperance, temper yourself. Find peace in the four elements that make up human nature, the mind, the emotions, the desires, the ambitions, and the sense of well-being. Okay, find peace in that. Find peace in the journey and know that we are trying to guide you and show you. We're trying to direct you about how to come to terms with something that is holding you back from absolutely everything that you want. Creating your own blockage with a little, little pocket of toxicity. And what that toxicity is, is that you're arguing with the truth of some, of some kind of situation in your life. You know what it is, but you don't want it to be that way. Temperance says, tap into your higher self, temper yourself, overcome this weakness, three of wands, and see the forest through the trees. See the moon in reverse, right? See clearly. See the forest through the trees. That whatever it is that you're bound to here doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Just because there are ties that bind you doesn't mean that it has to be. Ace of Cups in the center of the reading. This is Taurus's love for the situation. This is also, again, a call for emotional growth because what you're bound to is blocking universal order. Okay? New love as well, right? It goes back to that Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Hierophant right there. Okay? The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Um, it's not worth it. This is about greed in the sense of well-being, right? It goes back to the Hierophant. The greed in the sense of well-being is Taurus being absolutely adamant that it is their job and their responsibility to be invested or involved in a situation somehow. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse goes back to that Nine of Pentacles in reverse, right? And says, it's not worth it. It's, it's not worth it. It's never going to return to you what you are investing in it. And while you're investing in whatever protective kind of thing that you have for this situation, you're losing time. Because what you truly want from your life is trying to come through. But it can't come through because you're not receiving it. Hence, the lovers in my hand. You're not receiving it. The lovers is about being on frequency, on the same frequency as universal order, right? Universal order, source energy is high vibing energy. Think about the angels, right? They're high vibing. Ah, angels, right? High vibing beings. And they don't look like what you think they look like, by the way. But angels, high vibing beings, okay, wherever they come from, whatever that means, high vibing, right? Why? Because they're in the presence of source, right? You have to be in the presence of source in order for source to say, oh, I feel you. I feel you. I hear you right? When you're not vibing high in your life and you're vibing low with whatever this moon struggle is for you right here in the four of cups, right? When you're vibing low, universal order can't find you. And whatever this attachment is that you have right here is low vibrational because it's, it's blocking your manifestation of the life that you want somehow, some way. The lover says, get on the frequency of universal order by having the emotional growth that is necessary for you to accept the moon truth for what it is in your life. And when you accept it as the truth, when you own it as the truth, you have no choice but to live it as the truth. The lover says, join us. Get on the frequency that you need to be on. 
cut yourself loose from whatever this situation is for you right here and let's go Taurus let's go because there is a love relationship for some of you and there is a great deal of of personal success involving some kind of significant relationship for you okay four of swords in reverse this is the foggy head right this is this is mentally restless energy to the lovers in reverse possibly wondering back to that three of cups in reverse up here right maybe you are um maybe you are um stuck in a low vibrational understanding of life that everybody cheats everything's messed up and you don't ever want to deal with it again Perhaps you are in an emotional state of being where you have put in a lot of effort into something and you got passed over for it. Perhaps you're in an emotional state of being where um, you are letting family ties interfere with your path and your purpose and your happiness. Perhaps you are in an emotional state of being where there is someone in your life in a committed relationship that you know the truth about, but you don't want to accept it as the truth because you've put in so much effort to get it to where it is now. Whatever it is for you, Taurus, you need to reevaluate how you're going about doing things because you're not vibing on universal frequency and judgment. The lovers in reverse, right? Not vibing on universal frequency because you're mentally restless. What does mentally restless have to do with it? Well, when you're not focused, queen of wands, you're not f magician. You're not focused with your eyes on your prize and being true to your soul, being true to your true north, to your higher self that has been here way before you got here, will be here way after you expire. It's the same you. It's the same you all through eternity. And the reason that you have to keep repeating this life over and over and over again is because you're failing to spiritually ascend. Me too. I'm here right now, right? Apparently somewhere along the line, I didn't get what I needed to get. I had to come back here and do it yet again. <laughs> yet again, right? But I have found, I have under, come to understand that the key to unplugging from the matrix and turning off the machine is soul ascension. And the only way that you can possibly engage in soul ascension is listening to that soul that is trying to guide you through this insanity that we call humanity. This Taurus judgment needs to find that spot, needs to find that place so they can receive what it is that their heart desires. And it's possible. Manifestation is real, man. It's real. It's real. That's why good things happen to bad people. Because they believe it. They believe that they deserve it. They believe that they're entitled to it. They believe. Believe, Taurus. And cut loose from the situation that is holding you. You see my dog back there? Cut loose from the situation that's holding you. Okay. Third row, first card. Let's see what we got here. The Hierophant in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. This Hierophant in reverse, can you all see this right here? Yeah. Okay, so this Hierophant in reverse goes back to the Hierophant in the upright, the ties that are binding you. Okay, it's about cutting loose of ties, commitments, and obligations that no longer give you the foundation to create the kind of life that you want to create. Okay. It's about a complete and total overhaul of a deep internal belief system. Why do you find yourself being obligated to whatever this situation is for you? Why are you willing to trade your life success for some kind of obligation? Reevaluation, okay, to the world. 
the only way that this whole cycle can turn over in your life, the only way that your heart's desire, universal order, high frequency, the only way that this can happen is if you close out this current standing cycle of your life by reevaluating your core root belief system and what it is that you're truly, truly committed to in your life. And that goes back to your soul. We should be truly, truly committed to our soul's journey. Our silly stuff on the, in this lifetime doesn't make a hill of beans on the other side of all of this. It really, truly doesn't. And this particular Taurus is holding on to something that honestly doesn't make a hill of beans on the other side. Perhaps this Taurus is actually intervening in someone else's journey. Maybe this Taurus is enabling someone. Hmm. But a beautiful future waits for you. And it's literally just waiting for you to align with the, the frequency that will draw it to you. The world, right? This is, this is the end of a cycle. The beginning of a brand new cycle. You have all of the tools that you need to execute in this situation. The Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, Someone trying to get away with something in the Hierophant. Maybe you think that you're going to get rewards on the other side because you are taking care of a mother or a father or a sister or a brother or a child or a husband or a wife. Perhaps you think that if you um, severed this relationship or this situation that there's some kind of bad karma that's going to come to you. Mm-hmm. Perhaps the person in this situation on the other side of this is taking advantage of you and manipulating you with that magician in reverse up there and this Seven of Swords right here. But the Seven of Swords is also saying there is no other way. You can't get away with manifesting the kind of life that you want for yourself by not handling your internal business. Yeah, and then the sun comes on top of it. Sun, Hierophant, and the Ten of Pentacles. The path to happiness, success, and vitality is coming to terms with whatever that Hierophant is up there because that Hierophant is some kind of something that was ingrained to you, into you. It was. It was something that was ingrained into you because the sun is about the healing of the inner child. And this inner child is healed on top of the sun, on top of the horse in the upright, right? Which says that your ingrainedness of that hierophin up there, the reevaluation of your core belief system, why you're doing what it is that you're doing, right? The reevaluation of that is going to lead you in the path of your happiness, success, and vitality to the Ten of Pentacles. And it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal future for you. Whether we're talking love or we're talking money, love and money is all over this reading. Maybe for some people it's both. But there needs to be some emotional growth from this particular Taurus so they can get on the wheel and go. Star in reverse. It's not purposeful. Whatever you're doing in this commitment thing right here is not part of your path and it's not part of your purpose. To the, her the hermit in reverse. The hermit in reverse is about isolation, loneliness, withdrawal. And the five of cups in reverse is about regret. To the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles says balance this out. Earth energy, your sense of well-being, balance this out inside of yourself. Eight of swords, because you're all caught up in your head. Prince of Pentacles in reverse and stuck in this. Stuck in this mentality. Stuck in this obligation, this commitment. And you don't need to be. Justice in reverse. It's not in your best interest. It's not good. It's not right. It's not proper. And not taking accountability for the emotional growth that's being asked of you so your world can be in line with universal order is an injustice to your life. To the sun in reverse. Sun in reverse to the six of cups. Remember, we talked about that wounded child over here. Right? The wounded child, the six of cups, this, this, this tie that binds you was somehow ingrained in you as a child. And the Eight of Cups in reverse says, you know you need to walk away from this, but you're not. 
to the high priestess, look what I just say. You know you need to walk away from this. Your guts, whoever this is for, your guts are telling you to go. These cards are telling you to go. This whole reading is about you coming to terms with the little emotional fracture inside of you that is keeping you bound to something that is not in your best and highest good. She's talking to you. The Five of Cups. Regret, despair, disappointment to the Three of Wands. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Have some foresight. Get ready. This, this is a, the map to prepare you to go forward in your life. It's waiting. It's coming. It's all out there. But Taurus's mindset of some kind of ties that bind is keeping them from it. The Eight of Wands in reverse to the Seven of Swords. Look, Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords in reverse. This is a lot of repeating, right? The Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups in reverse, your emotional codependency to an identity, Queen of Swords in reverse, in denial, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So this is all saying basically the same thing. There is no shortcut. Things can't move forward until you move forward. The King of Pentacles, you want this, whether this is talking about you sitting in a position of success or this is talking about some kind of partnership of some sort. If you want this, Nine of Swords in reverse. You have to stop being filled with anxiety and despair. Nine of Pentacles and make some moves to be self-sufficient, independent, and bring the whole situation to a gigantic culmination, standing in your power, knowing your worth, taking control of the situation. Queen of Cups in reverse to the Queen of Swords in reverse. But this particular Taurus, emotional codependency, right? You seem to derive some kind of validation in your identity, which goes back to that wounded child. You derive some kind of validation in your identity that you are that person in this situation. The Queen of Swords in reverse talks about bitterness, right? Maybe Taurus is commitment to this situation is making them bitter about it on the inside because they don't want to do it, but they're doing it out of obligation. Queen of Swords in reverse is also about denial, just straight up denial that perhaps you are emotionally codependent to your identity in this situation, and that's why you're not doing anything about it. But your whole world's waiting for you. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You can't grow the seeds of your life here because the ground is sour to judgment. It's your call. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Free will. It's not heaven or hell. Nobody's going to, it's not a, it's not a problem. I guess it would be heaven or hell if you consider that you got to come back and do this again sometime, but it's not a heaven or hell issue. It's free will. It's Taurus. You have two choices. You will either change the way that you understand this situation to be, or you won't. And that's in the judgment card. And if you do, there's a rebirth and a continuation and a push forward into the next phase of your life. And if you don't, it's all right. You're just going to keep doing what you're doing. Temperance. So temper yourself. Take peace in the journey. Enjoy what's happening around you. The wheel in reverse. And pay attention to the moon in reverse right here, right? Come to terms with what it is that you know in your guts to be the truth so you can spin the wheel in the upright so universal order can take place in your life because right now they can't. They cannot and will not intervene in your free will. They won't. And if your free will is continuously manifesting something that is not in your best and highest good, yon yon. Because that frequency doesn't reach the heavens. Ace of Swords in reverse. Your mind's not in the game. Eight of Pentacles. You got some shit to work out. The Tower in reverse. Avert the disaster. Seven of Cups of being bamboozled by this whole situation any longer. Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms with your mind. The Devil in reverse. Just like this one, right? Release your limiting beliefs. Detach from your own toxicity. What's your toxicity? Whatever your thing is with this commitment, these ties that bind you, it's toxic. Whatever that is for you. Get your cards read. Whatever it is for you, right? Release your limiting beliefs, the Princess of Cups, so you can grow emotionally. Yep, so you can grow emotionally to the Ten of Cups. 
and the universe can rain down on you. The Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Emotional fulfillment comes from emotional growth. And the Hermit. You don't believe me? You just sit down and talk. You have an out loud, crazy person conversation with whatever you're calling it. You have a sit down conversation and ask. And you'll be shown. I sure hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.